Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Yorkshire Crafter. And today I have got a floss tube. I've got some progress to show you guys what I've been doing with my uh, stitching. I've got a finish. I've got a part one finish. Sorry, the cat's up on the windowsill. <laughs> Nearly fell off. Poor little Luke. So yeah, like I said, I've got a finish, I've got a part one finish and then some progress and some kits that I have been kitting up in preparation for next year. So I shall start with the finish. So this is the Stitchonomy Halloween Stitch Along and I have finished so I've finished it there and it says All Hallows Eve 2021 and it was the storybook uh, Halloween Stitch Along so Halloween, um, some of them are films, some of them are poems. So yeah, it was the book Halloween stitch along. And my favourite one out of all of them is this one in the middle. And it is the Sanderson sisters from the film Hocus Pocus. So I really enjoyed this stitch on me, stitch along. And they have got another one coming. There is a Christmas stitch along, and I have been getting prepared. So I have my fabric. They suggested a light blue or a sky blue. Um, the floss list um, was emailed out the other day. So I've got, um, I think I'm just, no, I've got all of them. I've got all the, uh, all the cold bar colours on the list. And again, I am going to be doing a different border. And again, I have picked a variegated DMC and I have gone for 4519. And it's all the reds, greens, browns, very Christmassy. So when the border gets emailed then I can start doing that so you can still sign up for it now over on the Stitch On Me Stitch Along Facebook group there's still time to sign up if you wish to like I said the thread the floss list has been emailed um, the frame the general release date for the frame is the 18th of December and then the first square, the first drop is on Christmas Day on the 25th of December and I think she said it's going to be a bi-weekly drop so maybe two drops a week maybe I'm not sure it's not going to be every day I don't think like the Halloween one was so I'm looking forward to doing the Christmas stitch along with uh, stitch on me so I can't wait for that to start so from the 18th we're going to be able to start it so my part one finish is It's the Secret Stitch Along 
by Verveco and that is part one finished so there's some legs or some poles or something so yeah i need to get cracking on with part two because i believe the last email was part six so i am quite far behind but um yeah i want to shout out uh cotton club crafts who sent me the kit out they were one of the companies that were sending out to the uk so a big shout out to Sue's over at cotton club crafts so that's part one of that finished and i have a pop-up on my screen and i can't see myself so hopefully it was still recording so next i will go on to peppermint purple hoping you guys are still hearing me that's where my glasses are i knew i brought them up and i can't move them through so put these on so peppermint purple so we'll start with last year's first so the square that i've just done on last year's is that rectangle there because i skipped over and did that one so i thought i'd come back and fill this one in so there's not much left to do one two three four five six seven seven weeks guys <laughs> seven yeah seven more drops and we will be finished so that is last year's so peppermint purple 2020 get this back in here so yeah that is last year's then this year's and the square i have just done is this one down here so that one there three four five six four, five, six. yeah same on this one seven weeks just checking that i've done it wrong <laughs> so move that round there we go you can see so yeah seven more drops and we'll be finished so yeah um like i've said before there is a whisper of another one next year so i'll wait and see what happens with that and yeah um but looking at the threads that were sent for this year's there is going to be plenty left because like i said there's only six weeks left so there is quite a quite a bit of thread left on these um but yeah like i said i'll see what happens next year and i probably will have some thread left over from this year's so yeah just wait and see so then on to Christmas mouse and I, I've been doing some of this the last couple of mornings so I have got a bit filled in let's see if I can I'll have to put that into the fabric 
There we go. Move that out of the way now. So, I did some of the grey in the mouse down here. I did some of these dark greys. Then I went in and finished some of the white off. And then this morning I moved the hoop so I can fill in these corners and then finish filling in the rest here so then I can move it back up and then I can start working my way down and finishing this off. Another pop-up while I'm recording. So, yeah. That looks really good. You can tell the uh, shading in the bauble there. So I'm really pleased the way this one is coming out. So let me move that back. So then I can pull the needle and put it back there. And I can put it back into here so that's the progress on the christmas mouse so next make sure i'll put that back into there as well so you guys already saw that i had fitted up the Christmas stitch along the stitch on the mess so that's all kitted up and ready to go with the fabric and everything I have also kitted up the Halloween one from the magazine this is Midnight Magic and it's the the one that one out of the magazine so let me see if I can I can actually flip it back around this way so yeah midnight magic and it's that one there so and it says everything is better with a little bit of magic no. Everything is better with a little magic. So yeah, this is the one out of the magazine. So I have the blue fabric that I got from Hobbycraft. And I now have all the floss and everything I have been kitting up. So that is one to start next year because I am going to be starting um, the challenge in the Facebook group and it's the Halloween projects I think I've got a link in the description box to the group it's currently called uh, 21 challenges for 20, 21 Halloween projects for 2021. I think recently the name of the group has been changed. I think they're just wanting to do it um, without numbers. Um, so Halloween projects or Halloween challenge or something. But like I said, I think there is a link in the description box down below but they're challenging you next year to however many halloween projects i think the post said it can be one big project that you do over the year it can be two three four ten twenty twenty two I think the challenge is 22 projects in 2022. So that's one of the ones that I have picked. And then 
Let me just let the cat out, guys. Sorry. Oh, let's... You're a pest. Go on, when I'm recording. Or about. Sorry about that. So, I have also... Whoops. I slid down the bedroom. <laughs> now, let me get back in screen. There we go. Right, I have recently seen in another group, and I can't remember, I cannot I cannot find the post anywhere. I voted in a poll that a group had put up um, asking for ideas for next year, whether they wanted to do um, just random projects and what people have been working on, um they wanted to know if people wanted a christmas project challenge but like i said i can't remember where the poll was i can't find the post um like i said i voted on it and i think i picked a christmas a year-long christmas challenge so I have been finding out some Christmas projects and I have one kitted up and this is from again the magazines and this says 2021 but it's Christmas so let me pull the cover sheet out and let me See if I can see what it's called. Pull to pull. So, yeah. Pull to pull. And it's got all like the winter animals. It's got the penguins. It's got a sea lion. It's got a wolf here. And it's got an owl. And you can see there he's got a scarf wrapped around him. And I definitely would say that that looks like uh, Hedwig from Harry Potter. We've got the deer with the Christmas jumper and the scarf. Got some penguins, polar bear, another sea lion, a fox, an Arctic fox, some polar bears. Again, the sea lion, and then there's the family of penguins up here, and the little baby. And I think, is that, I'm not sure if that's a, a puffin or another penguin. But, yeah, I have got this all kitted up. I have all of the threads and everything ready to go. And that is pull to pull. And it's out of Cross Stitcher magazine. It doesn't actually give a date for which magazine it was, but it does say Cross Stitcher magazine. So that is a Christmassy one. That I'm going to start next year. Like I said, I'm not sure whether the challenge is going to go ahead, but I really like that pattern. So I'm hoping to start that one next year. And then next, I'm just going to briefly show is the cat gnome. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the cat gnome and it's from cute broidery on etsy so i have that one also kitted up like i said it's a gnome so it's the gnome cat so i have got that kitted up and ready to go so that's one two one, two, three. Three kitted up for next year. One to start at 
Christmas, so mid-December. So that's that one. And then lastly, as you well, as some of you saw on my Sunday whip and chat, I was carrying on with this. It's a little plastic cross stitch from Wilkinson's and it says all good in the pud. So I just thought I would show you guys because it's obviously cross stitch. So that is where I am with it. I think I've done <coughs> definitely all the top here and then for my uh, whip and chat I did this edge all along the bottom here and then up well I think about halfway up this side maybe because then I finished it off while I was editing and uploading so but yeah that's where we are with that and I've got this one to do as well so I don't think there's anything to share from my phone. Let me just double check. Uh, Cause sometimes randomly I'll uh, take screenshots and uh, no. Yeah, because I shared that free pattern, the bookmark, the hocus pocus, I need coffee to focus. I shared that last time. Um, I also mentioned last time about one day saving, getting, getting in contact with me. And yeah, I picked a diamond painting and I also picked a cross stitch. Then um, a diamond painting have been in contact with me again um, saying, you know, last time we sent you the random pack of three um, and when they emailed they said you know we'd like to send you some more products but this time you can pick your own so i have emailed uh livy over at a diamond painting so i emailed and said you know there's a couple of projects that i really like and sent some screenshots and so yeah just wait to hear back from them so one day saving and a diamond painting um they've been in contact to send more products and asked for some more reviews and also some progress videos and working on the project you know those kind of videos of you know promoting their products and showing the process and how it's done and everything like that so i've got those come in i still haven't ordered the light pad from elise yet i really do need to do that because they've asked me to do a review on the power saving light pad the one it comes with a battery so I've got that coming, um, but that's everything cross stitch, um, that's everything stitching related. So I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day. And remember guys, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye guys.